with tears, with tears, and with the trials that came to the thoughts of the Jews. And I did not shrink back from proclaiming to you anything that was profitable or from teaching it to you in public and from house to house and from house to house. When he was humble, he was humble. In the same scripture right there in verse uh, 19, it shows that he had a servant heart. He had a servant heart. And again, what we're doing, you're hopefully trying to pick up these characteristics and trying to identify these characteristics in your own life. He was humble. He had a servant heart. Number three. He had integrity. He was a man of integrity. What does that mean? He never hesitated to preach the word of God, no matter the consequences. Number four, he was committed. Committed. Say committed. Committed. Are you committed to what God has called you to do? Are you committed to even the temporary provision God has you in? Mm, are you committed and devoted to teaching God's word, regardless of the venue? He was unprejudiced. So number four was verse 20 as well. Unprejudiced, this is number five, this is verse 21. He taught everyone, both the Jews and the Gentiles. You just want to share what you know with people that look like you. Come on, people that sound like you, people who come from your hood. He was compassionate, number six, compassionate. Verse 21 also, compassionate. Somebody say compassionate. 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 He had a heart for bringing lost people to Christ. He had a heart for bringing passion. Seven, spirit-led, spirit-led. He was not led uh, by his own thoughts and by his own plans. Verse 22, verse 22, verse 22, spirit-led. Number eight, he was fearless. He had total trust in God. Fearless. Yes, he did. Total trust. So now seven was spirit-led, but number nine is spirit-filled. One of the first indications of somebody who's a leader in the kingdom of God is being filled with the Holy Ghost. You listen to the internal promptings of the Holy Spirit. Do you listen to the internal promptings of the Holy Spirit? Number 10, he was faithful. He was faithful. Verse 24, he was faithful. Somebody shout faithful. Faithful. He had the proper perspective on life. Number 11, verse 26, he was a visionary. Visionary. He leaves this earth knowing he had done all he could do with no regrets, with no regrets. He's a visionary. That's verse 26. Number 12, he was passionate. He never held anything back. People got 100% of the good news. Shepherd, shepherd. Shepherd, verse 28. He cared for and invested into people. All right? He was a shepherd developer. Shepherd developer. That's good. He was a shepherd developer. That's verse 28. Verse 28. Number 15, he was a realist. He was a realist. That's verse 30. He understood the reality of spiritual warfare. Number 16, he was a warrior. Are there any warriors in the house? Glory to God. He was a warrior. That's verse 31. He cared about the church and he wanted them to be protected against the evil. He was not greedy or even interested in the world's riches. He was not greedy or interested in the world's riches, all right? That's verse 30. I'm not greedy, but boy, the Bible says that, that the, the wealth of the wicked is stored up for the righteous, so I'm not interested in them, but God says they belong to me, so I want them too. And, uh, all right, he's not greedy. That's verse 33. He was diligent. He was diligent. He was not lazy. He was not lazy. That's verse 34. He was diligent, not lazy. He was responsible. Number 19, he was responsible. Verse 34 again. Verse 34 again. Number 20, he was giving, 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 giving. That's verse 35. And number 21, he was a prayer. He was a prayer. He liked to pray. Anybody like to pray? Yeah. Yes. Glory yes. to God. Glory to God. I gave the 21. Praise God. <laughs> Goodbye.